solve for x. The first thing I want you to identify is that we have fractions, okay? So when you have a fraction and you're busy with an equation like this, we need to find a lowest common denominator. So the lowest common denominator between a 2, a 3, and a 1 would be the number 6, okay? So to make this one become a 6, we will multiply by 3. But what you do to the top, you have to do, or what you do to the bottom, sorry, you have to do to the top, okay? That's a 3 multiply. Notice I'm putting a bracket because I don't only want to multiply this one by 3, I want to multiply the entire top by 3. Now, for this part, we would multiply by 2. But what you do to the top, you do to, I mean, what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And in this one, you multiply by 6, and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. Okay, so what we now have is this over 6 minus this over 6 equals to this over 6. When we are busy with an equation where we have an equal sign over here, when the denominators are all the same, we can ignore the denominator. So what we actually now have is a simple question that now looks like this. Okay, and so now we just multiply the 3 into the bracket, and so that just becomes a 9x, take away 3, take away 4x equals 12. Okay, if some of you look at something like this and you're like, sir, isn't it going to be 2 times 2 and then 2 times x? No, what you're thinking of is if it looks like that. Okay, and so what we now get is a normal equation, a linear equation. So we will take the minus 3 over to the other side. And so on the left, we'll just have 9x take away 4x. And on the right, we will have 12 plus 3. It became a plus 3 because we took it over to the other side. And so now we end up with 5x equals to 15. And then we divide both sides by 5. And so x would be equal to 3.